Earth's mightiest heroes are put to the ultimate test when a new villain emerges threatening humanity's extinction in Avengers Age of Ultron. I am Scarlett Johansson, you're watching Made in Hollywood, and here is a scene from Avengers. I was designed to save the world. People who look to the sky and see hope. I'll take that from them first. Most people don't really know that when you're shooting a film like this, you may shoot it out of order, and it's really fascinating to think about because there are so many events happening in this film. What was the first shot that you guys took part in? First stuff that I did was in the forest. It was actually the very, it was the first stuff. Yeah, me too. Yeah, because when it was I, When you were on my back. Yeah, it was, it, that's right. All, we actually shot it, that part in sequence, pretty much. Yes. The beginning of the film happened, we shot in the beginning, and then it all gets all jangled around. And action! We shot the end of the movie first in Italy. It was a great way to start. I mean, it was chaos, mm -hmm. but the set was gorgeous, and there's, you know, I gotta meet um, Aaron and Lizzie. I'll get off to a running start. Stepping into this kind of world anyway it was very daunting, but yeah. uh, to be in the, the end sequence, yeah. Um... It's actually nice to be in the end sequence because we gotta go to the furthest point of our powers, and everything else was a leading point to that. At least that's what I liked, because I actually already knew where I would be going. That's kind of, Part of Joss's job is to remind all of us frenzied and frazzled actors exactly who we are, where we're coming from, and where we're going. Over and a four month period yeah, of time. Because we just, you know, we, and that's the miracle that is Joss Whedon because, gosh, I am totally do like clueless when I get to set. There's only one path to peace their extinction. I want to ask you about the story. I think that you guys came up with the concept kind of on the first film when you were shooting the first film. Well, yeah. I just knew that I wanted to do Ultron and I wanted to do the Vision and, I had, and Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver and I had an idea about how I wanted all that to work. The fine details I did not have. Even before I wanted to make a second Avengers movie, I wanted to make an Ultron movie because uh, he's just somebody I relate to. I tried to create a suit of armor around the world, but I created something terrible. Artificial intelligence. So your characters are new to this franchise, Quicksilver, Scarlet Witch. Who are they? What are their stories? They're twins who uh, are from Sokovia, which is a little place in sort of Eastern Europe. My character's uh, power, uh, he runs faster than the speed of sound, and um, he's very um, he's sort of impatient and very hot-headed and uh, but very protective over his sister, and, and they're very sort of yin and yang. She's very thoughtful and mindful and yeah, kind and of got this ability. Yeah, she has the power of telekinesis and um, mind manipulation. Which sounds painful. Yeah, I mean it is. It's called the Ultron Program. I'm sick of watching people pay for our mistakes. Isn't why we fight so we can end the fight and go home? The character of Ultron was a benevolent program that, that Tony Stark and Bruce Banner conceived of, and then they put it on the shelf and they didn't realize that it that they had left it in a state where it could self-generate and it could self-create. And it self-creates into this other being, um, which is not quite so benevolent. There are no strings on me. I've been specifically asked not to answer that question. <laughs> so, um, not to give too much away. Yeah, um, I, I mean, I can tell you that there, there is a relationship between Jarvis and the Vision, but I've been asked to leave it at that. Well, you amazingly failed. <laughs> so a lot of your characters' uh, powers, when they're shown in the movie, it's done through special effects. As an actor in those action sequences, though, what was it actually like filming your action sequences? So basically, you just ask Joss how he wants you to move. You try and understand what that means for yourself. And you choreograph things, and you're fighting with nothing and you just trust that you're gonna make it look like I'm fighting with something. Action! We don't always have that much time to, you know, prep our stunt work and stuff like that, so we are very fortunate to work with an amazing team. It's a, a little dance we all do, but it somehow gets coordinated. That we're thrown into. Really new and different, and just what I needed at the time. Mm -hmm. You know, I just finished doing a season on a television show I do, The Blacklist, and, and so to go and do something that was so different and fresh and new for me, I found a whole new source of adrenaline. Here we all are. 
with nothing but our wit and our will to save the world. I actually love that scene where it's after the party and they're all kind of hanging out on the couch. They're trying to lift Thor's hammer. It's so fun to watch the dynamics between your characters, but when you guys aren't shooting and the cameras aren't rolling, then what is it like? Louder. <laughs> Drunker. <laughs> yeah, that's all of it. This has been exponentially worse for Joss. Were you guys more, actually getting to really us. drink on set? No. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Were you? I, 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 <laughs> no. Were you? Were you? It's like a secret. I, mean, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, we all get along really well, so yeah. it was, you know, just fun hanging out. Why do you think they put us in separate rooms? So that way we're all get together. Crazy. Yeah, there, no one's getting in. Well, watch the press conference tomorrow. No yeah. one's going to get a word <laughs> in edgewise. It's yeah. nothing gets done when we're all together. Right. When you're on the Avengers films, you have all these people that we know very well, and it's it really is like you know it's like a party, and, and everyone's <laughs> it's hard to wrangle everybody. And I think Joss has his. We heard "shut up" quite a few times. A lot set from Joss. <laughs> Guys, hey, shut, shut up! up. Hey, you just kind of <laughs> like Ooh, Chris was having to listen. We're in trouble. Like you feel like you're 12 years old in trouble. So stand and fight. No way we all get through this. I got no plans tomorrow night. I think the question that everyone has, though, because they watched the first one and it's so great and it's so epic, they just think, how can you outdo that? How do you up the ante from that? Well, for me, it's about not trying to top it. It's about trying to up the ante emotionally and visually and give people something they haven't seen before to make a new movie, to make a different movie and, and, and not just a bigger version of the old movie. Because then, then that's just the first movie in a fat suit, and I don't want to do that. They deserve more. Yeah. In the first team, it was about them coming together as a team and, 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 and trying to work out who's going to lead and what have you, and they sorted that out. Me. And then, um, <laughs> well, it's debatable still. Me. Um, and in this one, they're we like, you know what? Out. Thor's clearly the strongest <laughs> and the coolest and the smartest, <laughs> so let's follow him. And that's how the film plays out. Now you know. Is that the best you can do? <laughs> You had to ask.